Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars. We were supposed to be out on the range today filming some stuff, but it is extremely windy, it is raining, and it is cold, which is great for hunting, not so much for filming stuff on the range and the camera equipment. So we're going to talk about something. Um, these are the Primos trigger sticks. Uh, to be exact, these are the tall tripod tr trigger sticks. This is the Gen 2 that I've been using now for many years. This is the Generation 3 that's been out for around a year, a little bit less than a year. Um, they've made some, what I think are really good changes uh, to the design. So first off, on the old trigger stick, your legs here, they will let you go all the way out and you can get to a very low position or a a very wide um, steady position. The problem was is when you're out shooting and, and you're going along with your rifle they had a tendency to, to slip out out from under you there um, when you didn't want them to. With the new trigger sticks you're locked. It's not going to go any wider than this. It is when you're when you're going around on your targets it is a lot more it doesn't, I haven't had them fall over. Um, in fact, I got really used to these. I let uh, somebody else use them on a recent hunt and I went back to these and I couldn't believe how many times I had to get used to using this again. If you do need to go to a, a lower or wider stance, you just twist the base here and then it'll let you go all the way out like you, like you used to, which even gives you more. You could use this to rest up on a wall, whatever, but all three legs will do that. The other major difference in these is before you just screwed off the Y yoke, you could replace it with, with other things, or you have your adapters for um, either a camera, uh, spotting scope, whatever. There's, there's both sizes there, and, and it was, it, it's really actually very convenient. You just take this, the Y yoke off and leave it in your pocket or whatever. On the new ones, there's a, also you were able to lock these, which I never understood really why, but you were able to lock it where you, you couldn't you pull the trigger anymore. It didn't have anything to do with it. On these new ones, there's a lock here. All that lock is, is the Y yoke comes completely off. It comes with this Y yoke and then it comes with another adapter that goes right in here that has the threaded portion to put your binocular, spotting scope, camera, whatever, lights um, that you're going to put on there. I, I do like the design. My problem with it is like this where I had to keep up with the Y yoke and it was it was always the the threads were always on here. Now I have to keep up with another piece all the time. This was all one contained unit. I don't even have the threaded piece with me. I thought I brought it. I do not have it. So if you're like me, you carry a lot of gear, it could become a problem because right now I do not have my, my threaded. It is really a good design. It's very solid. I just, um, being out here and carrying everything I do, you know, I, I need to figure out how to maybe tie it on here, but then it's going to rattle. So. That, that's probably my only complaint about this new system is that's actually an extra piece that you have to carry around and when you do so, just like I do now, to even show you I don't have it while I'm making the video. So know about that. Another thing is the lock on here. It does not have anything to do with the locking the legs and the trigger anymore. What it locks is now when I press this button I cannot remove this yoke. It's locked in there. It's not coming loose. It still spins around, but it's not coming loose. When I turn, or when I move the lock here, now I'm able to depress this button and release this. Well, being used to these old ones, which meant that this, and actually these are, these are jammed up, I think. Yeah, they're not gonna, not gonna work anymore. I've had these for several years. There it goes. So now, now it's locked in place. I can't do it. I thought that's what this was on the new one. I didn't even read the instructions. I'm a guy. Went out into the field. I didn't want to lock my legs up, so I didn't lock it. First couple groups I'm firing at, I'm shooting, I'm up here on the sticks, and somehow I knocked this off. Now I have no yoke 
I lost, I'm back to shooting without sticks. So, just know that on the Generation 3, this lock actually locks your Y yoke in. Other than that, um, like I said, I think it's an improvement in every way. If you can keep up with your, your threaded uh, attachment up here, then um, there, there's nothing going on. It is way more stable. These are actually, when fully deployed, an inch taller than the older ones. And that lock is, like I said, these have been riding around in a pickup bed for about a year. Legs still work, locks, the, the trigger lock is kind of gummed up, but I never used it either. So, let's see here. Well, thought it was about an extra inch taller. Maybe not. Eh, right at a half an inch. Not much. So they're basically the same. Same. This base, they feel the way about the same even though this base is larger. If you're in the market, the Generation 2's were nice. Um, I really liked them. But now the Generation 2's go to either people that are visiting, guest people, or I use them for light stands for the cameras or the um, other, other monoculars and stuff. I have strictly switched to using these and the main reason for it is the stability. I mean these are not, if, you, if I'm moving around, these, are not, these legs are not going anywhere. Where See how these legs, they came in. So if you come up off the ground, and while you're shooting, hogs are running past you. See those two legs? They come in on you. Where this one, everything is way more stable. I have not had it collapse on me yet while using it. Highly recommend these. Again, um, I'll put a link to the original video. This is just a short video showing the, the improvements from Generation 2 to generation three, it truly is an improvement. I don't even know if you can get the generation two anymore. I think these are all, all that they sell. Thank you for watching. Please comment below. Uh, please like the video, share the video. If you have not, please subscribe to our channel.